Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. I wasn't going to record this but I am actually in the middle of purging some things out of my closet. I have a lot more to do but I did set them to the side already and I'm going to tell you why I'm actually purging the, the items and tell you guys <laughs> about the stuff in the background that's my stuff from the cleaners and that's pretty much it I changed some things in my closet I'm probably gonna do like a pan over and show you guys but I did add in an extra drawer down here at the bottom and it was just such a hassle guys I have a little bit of footage such a hassle but I ended up taking my uh, pullout drawer putting it at the very 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 bottom <laughs> and the reason Typically you wouldn't put your Ikea packs drawers like the way I did. You would typically start from the bottom row, but it was just too much to handle. I cut my finger, it was just a lot. So what I did was I put the sliding drawer at the bottom and I ended up putting all of my bodysuits flat in there so I can just like pull it out and yeah. So I'll probably pan over with that as well. But this stuff is from the cleaners, the dry cleaners. Guys, if you have clothes that you absolutely love and you want to take care of it, put it in the dry cleaners. Now, all dry cleaners are not created equally, and we know this, but I like to take my things there that I do not like to wash. Um, I will say, when you find one that you like, make sure you build a good relationship with them because to be quite honest, some of them don't clean all of your items and I think what they do is if they don't see like stains they'll just steam it up all nice and plop it in there but for my ladies and my gentlemen who know about the outside smell <laughs> if you're outside in something and you put it in the, the dirty clothes you smell it so that happened one day so I kind of like didn't trust the last lady that I used to go to find the new guy but anyway I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I am purging and for those of you guys who don't know I am six feet tall I am 205 pounds 205 but yeah I'm 205 now I'm slender came down in weight look at my stomach guys let me pull my pants down <laughs> came down in weight um, just by being a vegan and eating right I am contemplating on trying I miss fish guys I do I really do but so some of this stuff is oversized on me now like oversized to what I won't like it and then some of the things are just outdated and that they were just still hanging in my wardrobe so I'm just gonna clean those out everything is gonna be on my Poshmark I'll add the link below I do have quite a few things on there on my Poshmark but this dress, I took it off the hanger because I wanted to clean it. I never actually wore it, but it had, let me grab a hanger to give you guys a good view of how it looks. So, it's a one sleeve dress and it has a nice belt. It's really nice and this is actually from Ace, this is like old ASOS, no River Island. From River Island and it comes off one shoulder the belt for the girls who have hips <laughs> this would be a nice dress for you if you're slim like me I have like an athletic build so not much body and I am okay with that but yeah so the belt let me let me show y'all hold on I'm not gonna make this super super long but just showing you some of the things and this is still very on trend for ladies who like dresses yeah so it goes like this and then the belt just kind of wraps around the back and you just hook it through uh oh guys <laughs> let me just get the belt on properly well, it's, it's like a light gray, it's pretty, pretty, um, it's a pretty gray color. And I would definitely recommend wearing this with a pop of color shoe. 
and I don't know why I'm seeing pink in my head, like a pretty fuchsia pink. I'm sorry guys, because this is all over the place. I was trying to get the, um, Yes, yeah, so this is all gonna go on Poshmark today. Uh-oh, and this is broken. So look, this is broken, <laughs> but I am gonna sew this back to the Poshmark people. But it's a really nice dress. Simple, belt, and that's it. One shoulder, I like brunch or something. So that's my first item, my other items are between jackets there's some jackets here i have mostly jackets now don't judge guys <laughs> these are old these are called like waterfall jackets and this is like a pretty blue it's cute the string on the inside you can kind of tighten it in the back and it gives you like an hourglass shape this is zara but it's actually a really nice jacket and I got this from New York. I have the same jacket in like this pretty olive color, right? The same, really cute. There's some detailing in the back. So like if you have, if you pull the string, it'll give you like a nice cinched waist. So I have jackets, the jeans, Jeans are kind of like, I don't know. Let's get into some of this other stuff that's like totally outdated. <laughs> Actually, I got another leather jacket. All right. <laughs> Here's another waterfall, waterfall style, and this one is BB Dakota. It's so old. Now, my style is just things that work well with me. I've said this before. So a lot of this stuff is just like, I mean like old, old. And I'm just like having it in my wardrobe and just wasting space. And it's kind of, it's asymmetrical once you zip it up. This was a thrifted blazer. Very nice. But I kind of don't, I don't know, I'm on the fence with this one only because it's vintage. And all I have to do is change this button. And the button is really, let me see, can you guys see this button? This is like an old school button, like old, old school. But it's actually a really nice jacket. It's a size 16. And you guys know back in the day, the sleeves were shorter, size 16. But it fits pretty, it fits pretty cool. And this, this is from, where did I get this from? Oh, Blank NYC. A little fest. This old stuff is old, guys. It's really old. But this is a good way to like just know that you have changed your style. Um, you know, over the years. A jacket is something that we always had in New York. So I had these for a long time. And I'm going to get rid of this Liz Claiborne blazer. Liz Claiborne. This one is actually a really, really nice blazer. It's a really nice, and I got this thrifted as well too. Liz Claiborne, and I also got this thrifted. Now, I may hold on to this one, I don't know. I don't know. This is, I may keep this one only because it's 100% wool. I don't know, it's 100% wool. So I may keep this one. <laughs> and it's like giving me Chanel vibes, right? It's like a little Chanel inspired thing. I may keep this one, possibly. Let's hold on to this one. And let's get into some of the other jackets that I'm gonna get rid of. All right. Now, this jacket, it's a cute full leather blazer. And I sell it on my online boutique, which is like out of, it's just out right now. And this is actually missing a button. That means the button fell somewhere. Wow. This is being sold once I find the button. It has like little pearls on the front. It's actually really cute. I have 
this pink, this blush. Now, I don't know if I'm going to actually get rid of this one, but I'll probably get rid of the red one. This is from Aqua. This is a really nice jacket. It fits really nice. And it's just a light, like a nice dusty pink. Very pretty, and it's a size large. I have a similar one in red. This one was from Zara. This is, Zara used to have really cute stuff back in the day. So purging is fun, okay? It doesn't mean that you're getting rid of stuff that are in terrible condition possibly you can but it's more so because your style has evolved and it really serves no purpose anymore and it's just taking up wasted space guys it's taking up space here's another bb dakota jacket like the gray one and this is like a taupe color super nice and all of these are a large and then my favorite is this denim jacket <laughs> it's so old guys it's like four years old possibly and this is by American Bozzy and I got it I, I said oh I used to sell it on my boutique so those are some things that I am gonna purge from my closet and I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I took to the dry cleaners and why I got it dry cleaned but my battery looks like it's going to die, so we may have to cut this video kind of short. But I take anything that is of great quality, any sweaters. Um, I took a trench coat this time, and I took a denim skirt, blazes, anything satin, any white shirts, linen, cotton, those all go to the dry cleaners. And the reason why I take those is because if you wash them, Georgia has hard water, guys let me tell you i use strictly white towels so georgia has hard water if you start to wash your items they start to get a little dingy so for my towels i always use vinegar baking soda and i like double triple wash them and that has worked for me but my shirts i just rather take it to the cleanest because they be getting them all the way clean it does cost a little bit of money but i trust and believe me guys it is an investment that you need to do especially if you spend good money on your clothes and you don't want to damage them while you are washing them so quick video on some of the things that I'm purging most of the things that I'm purging this week are jackets and one I don't want this style anymore two I lost weight <laughs> and three I'm just going for something different my style has changed I'm getting older so I'm kind of getting back to my New York ways, wearing like certain types of trench coats and things. But spring is here, which I have not shopped yet, guys. And I cannot wait to do it. But you guys know I am doing things in my living room. So it's on pause right now. But I wanted to talk about the giveaway really quick. And we are at the, I don't want to say the last day. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till tomorrow and see who else actually follows the rules. If no one else does it, I'm going to probably give it to the lady who commented who actually doesn't have an Instagram. Um, I wanted to give it away, so she may be the lucky one. <laughs> but anyway, that was just a quick video on things that I'm purging from my closet. It's not a lot. Other things that I'm going to take to the Goodwill are like sneakers and stuff that are just like, I don't know, I feel like Goodwill would purchase. Well, then again, I don't know, somebody on Poshmark might buy it. But everything will be linked in my Poshmark. If I add anything else, you guys will see that on my Poshmark page. But I do have quite a few things on there. So, quick little video, guys. Let me know what you guys want to see on this channel. I'm going to show you guys a quick pan over of the closet again. But if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and Coco Styles NYC and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC and my style and services, CocoStylesNY.com. And guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.